kicks towards Hockey. Oh, Robinson. Oh, here's to you, Mitch Robinson. That was fantastic. I just love the way they played back in the day. That's just, I think I was in the wrong era probably. Uh, that's just the way I was brought up. Tassie in footy was pretty rough. Uh, I was a 15, 14 year old playing seniors at the time and they'd usually go out of the way to, you know, rough you up in a game and, you know, get under your skin type thing. Probably like 17, I reckon. I started doing a bit of uh, apprentice work with my old man as a sparky and uh, that was way too hard. So I thought uh, I could probably make AFL, so I want to give it a crack. I had a phone call the night before from Adelaide, actually, um, saying they'd take me a pick to a mid-20s, I think. I hadn't really spoken to Colton only like once at draft camp, so I didn't really expect that. It was surreal when I got, when I got called up. Um, you know, Juddy gave me a call. It was, it, was, it was a good day. I got moved in with Eddie in my first year. Uh, he took me under his wing. The background they had was kind of similar to what I had in Tassie, so I felt like I could trust him. We built a bond out of that. But I still catch up with him every chance I get. Obviously, that ended not the way that I was expecting my career to end at Colton, and that was kind of um, the wake-up call that I, I reckon I needed. I feel like I had a chip on my shoulder to prove everyone wrong and prove that I can still play footy, so I thought the best move for me and my family was to get out of Melbourne and um, get away from, you know, the bubble. That was definitely um, the year that I had to try and, you know, show the world that I can still play AFL. Beamsy went down injured, and I got my time on midfield, um, and I, you know, presumed that tagging role, and that kind of set my year up for the, the BNF. Chance and Charlie, I wouldn't be where I am today if I didn't have those kids. And yeah, Emma's been amazing throughout all my ups and downs the last six, seven years. So it's really good. Like I love, I love that life. Last year I did start accounting, but I finished my sports journalism, freelance sports journalism degree. I got my full real estate license last year as well. Um, so I'm not exactly sure where they're going to lead me, but I do want to be a player manager when I finish AFL. So I think I've got the tools in place to be able to guide the young footy players coming up. And that's also a role that I'm trying to do at Brisbane as well with the younger kids there. I've got um, next year left of my contract and um, I, I can only see myself getting better as a player. In probably two or three years, I think finals isn't, you know, too far off the radar. We're all buying into the message of the coaches and the clubs um, sending us. So we're looking forward to it. I think we'll be pretty good next year.